Welcome back to Indiana Diecast Racing in the Harry Potter themed House Cup. So far it's been a long three months, but we've got the final two groups of round three. Kicking it off for Group 11, Ollie DeVry from Arlo Racing is back in his Jaguar XJ220 named Striking Viper. Ollie's a two-time group winner, putting up 15 points in round two. None of his former competitors have advanced to round four. In what will be the outlier of this group in a Jaguar XESV Project 8, Rage from Road Rage Racing represents Gryffindor. Road Rage's last remaining entry of four, this Rage took second behind Crystal ZD in round one, then placed second behind Sinister Seth in round two. From Numskull Racing, Numskull is driving a Jaguar XJ220 for Slytherin. He's also a two-time winner in this vehicle and the sole remaining driver from his previous groups. Finally, Mrs. Nefarious is also in a Jaguar XJ220 called Expelliarmus for Dubious Diecast. She finished second in round one after winning a runoff, then won her group in round two, also the last driver standing from both of her prior groups. Three XJs versus a Project 8 with Ollie and Rage starting up front, Numskull and Mrs. Nefarious in the back. Ollie cleanly gets out front. Numskull tries for the pass in turn three. It's a two car race and they spin. Ollie takes lap one, Numskull is second, Rage third, and Mrs. Nefarious fourth. Numskull with a great challenge inside turn three, and those XJs are really evenly matched. They pull off a tandem spin on the final straight with no effect on the results. Arlo Racing on top after one. Numskull takes the pole for lap two and will get another shot at Ollie. Numskull wins the close battle through one and again it's a two car race. Numskull is really moving and Ollie drives off the final straight. Mrs. Nefarious claims second and Rage is nowhere to be seen. Tough break for Ollie. Looks like he wanted to visit his eliminated teammates from Arlo Racing. Looks like Rage has stalled in turn three. Both Mrs. Nefarious and Rage slide in the back and they're never able to get back up to speed. Ollie rides the final turn too high and overcorrects, sending him right over the edge. Numskull jumps out to a three point lead at the midway point. Mrs. Nefarious moves up front, Numskull on the outside. The outside lane with the advantage and Numskull spins out front. Nefarious passes Numskull in turn three, forcing him on the wall and he rolls in turn four. Ollie smashes into him and Mrs. Nefarious runs away with lap three. Whoa, Rage comes out of the final turn in second. There's Numskull on his roof and looks like Ollie is down by the cat pirate sign. Mrs. Nefarious living up to her name, forcing her way past Numskull and pushing him up onto the wall, resulting in his demise in turn four. Ollie gets caught up in the wreck and winds up off track. With that DNF, Mrs. Nefarious vaults past Numskull to take a one point lead headed to the final lap. Underdogs Rage and Ollie on the inside, Mrs. Nefarious and Numskull on the outside. Nefarious and Numskull are faster and they slide in front easily. Ollie gets up on the wall. Numskull slides and takes a shot from Rage. Mrs. Nefarious spins, but she and Numskull will again take the top two spots. Ollie did end up wrecking. That'll be the third consecutive DNF for him and an unceremonious end to his tournament. Rage gets a chance to overtake Mrs. Nefarious, but her giant XJ220 blocks the track. Mrs. Nefarious wins and Numskull will advance his second card to round four. In the final group of round three, Dubious Diecast gets right back on the track with Mr. Dark in his Jaguar XE SB Project 8 called Mischievous. Mrs. Nefarious's teammate took second behind Dangerous Dawn in round one and tied Nitro for the win in round two. Also in a Jaguar XE SB Project 8, Herb Parker's second to last entry represents Gryffindor. Herb put up 11 points in both rounds one and two, taking second place, then tying Ladyface for the win. Vapor Racing teammate to the aforementioned Dangerous Dawn, Louisa is driving an Aston Martin DBR1. 
Louisa has finished second each round so far, with only Mr. Sparkles still alive among the drivers she's faced. Finally, driving a Lotus Esprit for Golden Owl Racing, Grey Wizard's car is called Basilisk. He finished second behind the fuzz in round one and advanced past round two after surviving that crazy three-way runoff in group one. The project dates of Mr. Dark and Herb Parker start up front for the final group of round three. Herb gets a nose ahead but can't gain the lead. He finally pulls ahead and Grey Wizard dives into turn three to pass Mr. Dark. It's Herb, Wizard, Louisa, and Mr. Dark. When they come out of turn two, Herb goes to the outside to block Mr. Dark, opening a gap for Grey Wizard. Realizing his mistake, Herb forgets about Mr. Dark and redlines his Jaguar to fight off Grey Wizard for the ultimate lead. Mr. Dark cannot be happy with a fourth place finish starting from the pole. Gryffindor leads after one. Louisa moves up front, Mr. Dark on the outside. Louisa with a great jump out of the gate and she gets in front of Mr. Dark. Grey Wizard tries to pass in reverse and Mr. Dark catches Louisa in the triangle. Grey Wizard's on the wall and it's Louisa, Mr. Dark, ooh! Rage pushes Grey Wizard across the line for third. Grey Wizard nearly pulled off a great Mater style pass in turn three, then in true Slytherin fashion the three house teammates all battled hard for the glory on lap two. Grey Wizard very lucky to finish this lap after getting up on the wall and rolling. Louisa moves out front by one in what is another very close group. Grey Wizard and Louisa up front, Rage and Mr. Dark in the back. A dead heat into one and Grey Wizard comes out of turn two in front. Louisa goes high and they get sideways, double wide. Grey Wizard breaks free as the field struggles behind him. Louisa manages to roll in for second, and the Project 8s of Mr. Dark and Rage have stalled. Oh, Rage has actually rolled onto his roof. Louisa's definitely got some wheel skills, but her little Aston Martin seems to be struggling against the larger cars in this group. That double DNF really hurts Rage and effectively eliminates Mr. Dark. Rage has to win this lap and hope either Grey Wizard or Louisa DNFs. Rage can't keep up with Grey Wizard and Louisa's off the track! The door is open but Rage still has to catch Grey Wizard. It's not gonna happen and Rage gets squirrely giving up second to Mr. Dark. Let's say it together. Subtract safety surface. Rage almost got what he needed, successfully taking out Louisa. Grey Wizard dominates and Louisa hangs on to second. Yikes! Slytherin putting up absurd numbers today, up by 41. Congratulations to Mrs. Nefarious, Numskull, Grey Wizard, and Louisa. This has been Jim D. for Indiana Diecast Racing. Be sure to check in next time for more slightly above mediocre diecast racing and the fourth round action of the House Cup.